I'd like to now cover the topic of how to mount a universal 18 inch standoff pole uh, on a wall. Uh, this uh, is ideal for mounting both aerials and for mounting satellite dishes. Particularly in the area of satellite dishes, it's used as an alternative to mounting a satellite dish in the front of a house. The pole is put at a back corner and is sufficiently high to get over the hip or over the socket of the roof and gives a clear line of vision for the satellite, which means that you can pick up the signal while not um, uh, reducing the value of your house. Okay, so uh, to this extent, the, the, the alternatives um, for mounting both aerials and satellites is to use uh, two different types of brackets. You could use a, a style scale uh, bracket here, which is a very very simple bracket, ideal for satellite dishes. Are also ideal for it actually comes as part of the satellite dish, uh, or it's also ideal for mounting a small UHF aerial or perhaps broadband. If you had broadband being used in your area, this is ideal for that. And a, a very large customers um, who buy these brackets are um, um, uh, broadband installers. The alternative is to use a T and a K bracket. So they come in three sizes. You have a 12 inch bracket, such as is mounted on the wall here, and is used with a 1.8 meter pole and some U-bolts. Alternatively, you could use an 18 inch bracket or a 24 inch bracket, with the 18 inch bracket being the most commonly used. But back anyway to our own thing here, which is the universe bracket. The big advantage of this, it's a very cheap option compared to a T and K, and in terms of height and getting over the hips of roofs, it'll do exactly the same job um, uh, at a much reduced cost, and it's more flexible, we'll say, than a, a bracket here. So if we actually pick up this bracket, you can see this pole originally was 1.8 meters long, and it was bent by a machine into this particular shape. So now the overall length of the bracket is considerably less, about 1.5 meters, with about uh, 0.8 meters usable in terms of mounting satellite dishes and brackets. So it would be tight to mount a bracket or uh, a satellite dish and an aerial on this, if not indeed impossible. But for either a dish or an aerial by itself, it's quite good. Um, so what we do is we loosen the nuts here, which allows us to rotate this around 100 and, uh, or 90 degrees. So when this is originally shipped, these brackets are actually at 90 degrees to this to allow for easy shipment. Um, and what we need then to actually mount this bracket on the wall, you can see down below us, there's eight holes here, so with eight plastic plugs and eight, co eight coach bolts. Um, and an alternative would be to use a heavy duty uh, coach or um, a Hilti style bolt here, but for this particular type of bracket, I don't think there's any need. They're far more expensive and they're not any better to that. And so to a large extent, you're better to use uh, what we're outlining here. Um, so I'm going to start off here. The first step is to drill guide holes to mark where we're going to mark this um, bracket. So I use uh, an 8mm drill bit for this purpose. I come along, I grab my bracket, I mount it onto the wall, I try to ensure it's as straight as possible, and I drill a total of 8 holes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, I've already prepared for this job, so I've already drilled um, the eight holes here, and indeed, I've already done the next step, which would be to change this from an eight millimeter to a ten millimeter drill bit, and I drilled eight holes in a similar thing. And I've actually come along, and just for the example of this purpose, I plugged it, I pushed in four plugs, one, two, three, four. But obviously, in, in reality, I mount all eight plugs, uh, five, six, seven, and eight, which would give much more stable mounting. Um, so at this stage, I'm actually finished with my drill. I can go back here, pick up my plastic plugs, uh, which I've already inserted, and now I come along and I pick up my bolts, my ratchet, my standoff bracket, uh, and my 13mm socket. So I just put my um, ratchet in my back pocket for the second. I come along, I hold up this bolt. And here we are. First coach crew has been entered. The third, and now the fourth. So in reality then, I would attach the next four bolts, here, 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 and here. Now, I come along with my ratchet, and I'll tighten in these four bolts quite securely onto the wall.
very good. One, two. say most people who are looking at this video have gotten the idea now so uh, I'll leave it at that for this moment the next thing is you have an adjustability here of how, exactly how you want to rotate this so what we'll do is once again luckily it's a 13 millimeter so you can rotate this over and back depending on where you want it or you can raise it up and down slightly but not overly so I would say the total play you have there is only about 150 millimeters okay um, and that's it but normally what you want to do is uh, you want to have it sticking out at right degree, uh, right angles from the wall. They come along, just just uh, the direction, the opposite direction, tighten it in, and that's it. Um, it's a galloping pole, rather than a million pole. Uh, quite strong, super satellite dishes, and for areas. And that's it, assembled in entirety. So you can see it's a very simple thing in terms of the tools that are needed. Um, other than a few uh, bolts and plugs that come with it, no other um, accessories needed. And now we can come along and mount a satellite dish on this, mount an aerial amp, and we can run the cable down this and onto the wall. So overall, uh, quite an ideal bracket for this particular purpose. Uh, and that's it from beginning to end, the, uh, how to mount uh, a universal 18-inch uh, standoff bracket.